Hi, this is Mike Maslanka. I've tried a fair number of lawsuits in the 31 years that I've been a lawyer. And the conventional wisdom is that by the time closing argument rolls around, the jury has already made up its mind. And you know what? This may be. But I take my cue from the movie, The Untouchables, where Elliot Ness tells Al Capone something along the lines of, you keep fighting until the fight is over. I agree. Let me tell you about one of my trials. My client, a company, hired the plaintiff because the client believed it was going to land a big contract. When the contract did not materialize, my client let the employee go for lack of work. And to boot, he wasn't doing a very good job at the work that he was doing. He sued, claiming we fraudulently led him to believe that the contract was closer to a done deal than it was. Here are four techniques that I used in that closing argument. First, the power of rhetorical questions. I floated this question to the jury. Ask yourselves, why would my client make a misrepresentation? What was in it for them to do so? Does this make any sense? Jurors need to arrive at their own answers. Second, drill down with binary questions. I posed a series of questions to the jury asking what was more likely, such as, is it more likely that XYZ company, my client, lied to the plaintiff or that now, and then I offered an option with a more favorable frame for my client, which is more likely. Very powerful. Third, I followed up with the hindsight frame, as in, in hindsight, after he took the job, the plaintiff now claims fraud because, in reality, he was unable to do the job. Hindsight is a powerful frame because jurors identify with it. Each and every one knows someone or knew someone who engaged in hindsight excuses. Finally, well, you should never tell the jury what to think. There are ways to get your point across. Try this with the jury. Ladies and gentlemen, when, when you are back in the jury room, one of your fellow jurors may ask XYZ question. And that's a good question. Let me suggest the following as a response. In any event, we won this trial. And to be candid, sometimes we do not win. But win or lose, we do our best right up to the end. Hope these techniques help with your next close, or when you next find yourself trying to persuade someone. Persuasion, it can be learned. This is Mike Maslanka at your desk.